Basics with Babish and my website, basicswithbabish.com, are brought to you by Squarespace. Head there now to check out all of the recipes from the show, kitchen equipment lists, and more. Get 10% off your first Squarespace order by visiting squarespace.com slash babish. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Hey folks, this week we're making kimchi, which begins with Napa cabbage. A Napa cabbage that we're going to cut into quarters lengthwise and soak in lightly salted water for one hour before beginning the process of transforming it into kimchi. A process which honestly terrifies me, so I've recruited the help of a very special guest. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back for another segment of Big Wigs with Babish. And today my guest is a lot of different things. He is singularly responsible for the so-called food truck revolution He is a renowned chef and cookbook author, restaurateur, and the famed food consultant behind the famed foodie film, Chef. Joining me today is Roy Choi. Roy, how you doing, man? Hey, what's up, man? Just getting the suntan over here. I don't even know why you need that background. You're out in LA, right? Like, that's that's, that's outside. (laughs) That's right. So how's how's your life, man? For those who don't follow you on Instagram, you're doing a lot of great stuff. It's the food truck and everything. Tell us a little bit about what's going on in your world nowadays. Yeah, you know, um, I run a truck called Kogi. You know, we were sitting like on the third day or so of the pandemic. I was seeing a lot of my colleagues in the restaurants pretty much fall to the ground. And I was sitting in my car in the middle of uh, Skid Row. We were feeding a clinic there. I said like, and what if we, for this moment, our truck can be a vehicle for anyone who wanted to help anyone to funnel their money through Kogi, we would take that money and you could see literally the dollar that you gave would go to buy a taco to feed someone. And so for the three months, the last three months, really we've been operating in that type of model, whether you've lost a job, whether you're on the streets, homeless, frontline workers in hospitals and clinics. And uh, you know, that's what I that's what I do. This entertainment stuff, man, this is just my side job. <laughs> well, I'll be your side piece anytime, man. Well, dude, thank you so much for what you're doing out there. Maybe from, you know, like from many tragedies, some really interesting and, and exciting things can come of it. Speaking of COVID and you know, quarantine and everything, everybody seems to be making sourdough nowadays. I guess it's one of those things that you always want to do, but you never have the time. So then everybody suddenly had the time. And instead of sourdough, I think people should be making kimchi. Would you agree? I mean, there's nothing wrong with sourdough, but kimchi, sourdough is kind of like a PG movie. Kimchi's rated R, baby. <laughs> N- NC-17. Yeah, all right, so it goes like sourdough's PG, sauerkraut is PG-13, and then kimchi's R. Kimchi's rated R, baby. All right, okay, all right. I've tried to make kimchi a couple times uh, myself at home and have failed. I was hoping that maybe you could coach me through, give me a play-by-play. Yes, let's do it. So this recipe starts with the blender. Into it goes one cup of kochukaru, one cup of chopped onion, 15 garlic cloves, a quarter cup of peeled ginger, and two tablespoons each of salt and sugar. Before being asked an interesting question. Where's this recipe from, by the way? This is from some blogger that posted your recipe. Oh, it's my recipe. Yeah, it's your recipe. (laughs) Oh, Oh, okay. It felt very familiar, but my recipe is very different than traditional. Like a lot of people don't make a paste like this. A lot a lot of it is done where each of the ingredients are somewhat separate. The fermentation brings it together, brings the emulsification together. I'm a kid from the city, you know, on the street, and I was like, let's take the let's take the side route. And then yeah. that was the blender. So this is easier, would you say? It speeds up the process without sacrificing the process. I mean that's that sounds like nothing but a good thing. Moving on, we add two tablespoons of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of soy sauce, a quarter cup of fish sauce, two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, half a cup of water to help the medicine go down, and then we're roughly blending everything together. Just like roughly blended like that, still kind of chunky? Uh, as smooth as possible. As smooth as possible, here we go. Or rather, we're blending everything together until it's as smooth as possible. Mm, right? Woo! Woo. Oh, that's yeah. right. So you see how uh, we've taken the, the carpool lane into into flavor, basically? What do you got, Fury? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we took the carpool lane to Flavor Town. With our paste prepared, we're ready to apply it to our cabbage. Just grab a bowl, grab your sauce, and... Uh, uh, Kate, uh, do you have like a half sheet pan or, or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that. Just put it on there so that... Uh, from this angle so we could see it. Oh, God, you're good. You're way better broadcast than I am. Right. <laughs> All right, now that you can see everything, we're just gonna put the cabbage directly on the baking sheet and just dump the paste all over. Oh, uh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't. You're not doing it all like that. So get a, okay. get like a spoon or a brush. And this is the tedious process. I want you to go layer by layer. And what we're gonna do is 
hopefully with the excess, then we're gonna cover the whole thing. So you wanna be very, very meticulous with this process. Try to get as deep into the crevices as possible. Where is the family show? Every layer, corner to corner. Hopefully by the end of the whole thing, we should be able to see all the all, all the flavor in between the layers. That, look at that. You know, you've created your first layer of flavor, and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover the whole thing. Yeah, and just massage it all the way in. And not just a thin layer, but just really try to cover that thing with as much paste as it can possibly hold. Wow, look at that. It's pretty righteous. After giving the rest of our cabbage the same treatment, wash your hands to chop some chives, only to sully them again, as you layer them between the cabbage as described in yet another beautiful Roy Choi analogy. Just like you would put like maybe nuts in between, almost like a baklava, to be honest. Next up, I'm putting some of the paste directly on the baking sheet and rolling the cabbage in it. Like you're rolling a log into, into chopped nuts. After our logs are rolled, something about that sounds inappropriate, depending on the size of your jar, you may need to cut your cabbage in half. If so, make sure to cover the newly exposed edges in the spice paste. And finally, it's time to jar, being careful to keep the layers of cabbage together as you drop it in. Just jam it on in there, adding any remaining bits of cabbage to the top, and top it with any leftover paste. Then we're gonna give the jar a few taps to make sure that everything is settled. Now it's rated R. That was your initiation. It's like getting a cut on the line, you know, or a burn. You have, yeah. you have to get splashed. Well, welcome to the club, Andrew. Thanks, man. <laughs> If you'd like to omit your initiation into this illustrious club, make sure to cover your jar with a paper towel before banging it down to settle it for its weeks long journey. So what's gonna happen in that bottle in the next couple weeks, the product itself is gonna lose some of its water, the vegetable, so it, that's going to shrink, but what's going to grow is the, the gas. You don't wanna fill it all the way to the rim because what will happen is it will, it will lava out. Is it not gonna explode or anything? Uh, it may explode, but it, the job to not making it explode is your is your maintenance. So I gotta burp it every day, or how often should I burp it? If it is getting to the point where it does look like it's gonna burst, then you wanna you wanna burp it. But you, you don't wanna burp it as much as possible. So this, you wanna keep kind of in a room temperature area. Yeah, and then you move it to the refrigerator. You should actually taste a little bit. You can see that even in its most um, instant form, it should be pretty delicious, right? That's great. Hmm. Yeah, imagine if that was with uh, julienne cucumbers. I would not on that all day. That sounds amazing. I'm very excited to try this, so I'm leaving it out for two days and then two weeks in the fridge, and then she's ready to go. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that uh, people give this a try instead of sourdough because it has so much utility. It has so much flavor, and it's going to be more interesting on your Instagram feed than being another that's making sourdough start. Roy, thank you so much for your help, man. That was so much easier than I thought. I've been so intimidated by this process for so long. And that mm -hmm. took like 20 minutes tops, and it's gonna make this amazing condiment that is going to grow and change with time and is, is gonna have myriad uses. So I really hope folks give this a try, and it's all thanks to you, man. Oh, thank you, man. I, I mean, you made it easy. I, I thought I was gonna be here for hours, too. Um, I'm glad I'm not. <laughs> This episode and many others have been sponsored by Squarespace because they've been an amazing partner in both bringing this show and my websites to life. They've got a really intuitive, easy to use platform that made it super easy for someone like me who's never done web design, ever. They have templates, they do domains, they have really good customer service. It's basically a one-stop shop for building a really slick website. If you want to try it for yourself, you can start your free trial today by visiting squarespace.com babish to get 10% off your first purchase. 